Tinder. Yeah. <laughs> well, the first question that came to my mind was are you a dirty whore or a playboy scum if you're using tinder like seriously this question concerned me a lot after a friend convinced me to install this app to make it short the simple answer is no thankfully nope you're not and if this already satisfied you well then <laughs> go ahead and watch another one of my videos and if not let me explain why and i'm also going to make a tinder test later so enjoy So there's this thing, Tinder, it's a dating platform, it's an online dating platform, it's an app and well you probably know it anyways but let me tell you something, Tinder is not fucking stupid, it's pretty complex actually and I'll get to that in a bit but first let me introduce myself. I'm Chris and I'm pretty much a full-time YouTuber. I'm studying as well and I also have a bunch of side jobs, you know, to make some money so that I can eat and that I can buy a fucking 3D printer. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is that I have zero time, almost no time to go out there, go partying, meet up with girls and stuff like that. Hell, I don't even have the time to use Tinder. I have to make a fucking video about it. <laughs> but anyways, I broke up with my last girlfriend about seven months ago. And since then I had no constant relationship. But since this is a wonderful thing to have, you know, at least with the right girl, of course, I gave this stupid app a chance. But first I took a deep look into what's behind Tinder. And of course there are dirty whores and playboy scums on Tinder. You know, it's funny because it's just like in real life, but better. You get it? <laughs> oh shit. You can decide. Tinder does not classify you, you do it yourself. And as I said, Tinder is pretty ingenious when it comes to that. Tinder's algorithms can detect those horns. The fuck was that? Holy shit. Oh shit, it doesn't smell good at all. The fucking LED wall broke, I can't believe it. Perfect timing, I'm moving out anyways. Tinder's algorithm is able to detect those playboy scums and dirty horse. And you know, it can also detect the opposite. For example, picky guys like me, but I'm probably too fucking picky for Tinder. And that's not a good thing as well. Well, good. You can decide for yourself if it's good or bad. But anyways, let's get into the science. Easy and simple and short. If you are liking every fucking girl or dude on Tinder, hoping that you get a match, then you will be classified as a playboy whore or dirty scum, what the fuck did I just say? And the profiles Tinder will give to you are like-minded people. They are acting like you do, which is fucking genius, right? And on the other hand, if you are a picky girl or a picky dude, you're probably looking for a long-term relationship and the profiles Tinder will give to you are like-minded people. They are acting like you do. It's so fucking genius, oh my god. And there is one more thing that's pretty interesting and it's called like power. If you get a lot of likes, for example, then your like will count more. And on the other hand, if you get almost no likes, then your like is pretty meaningless. And you probably have a hidden like score that puts you higher or lower on the stack. You know, the chance to get seen on Tinder. But that's where it gets kind of tricky, but it's very interesting though. And if you want to read more, I put a bunch of links into the description. So go ahead and check it out. And now the Tinder test. I installed Tinder about five weeks ago and I, you know, I created my profile and stuff, but I hardly ever used Tinder. I swiped around 50 to 60 girls. I liked around, I don't know, four of them. But that gives me the benefit that I'm probably already classified by Tinder and I probably got rated a few times as well. So this might actually be interesting. Let's see, maybe I'll get a match. So first, let me show you my profile. So there we go, that's the first picture. Second one, third picture, <laughs> stupid fourth one. Oh, and that's it. All right, so four pictures. That's my name, that's my university, and that reads my hate. 180 centimeters, I love music, singing, I love, you know, to be creative, making videos and sports, acrobatic and climbing. 100 interests, I don't know, yeah. Pretty interesting, right? Oh, oh nice, oh, oh, nice. Well, 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 for fuck's sake, 